The rise of Islam in the Middle East, in some regimes expressed as a strong opposition and in others a part of the legitimate government, as in the Palestinian territories, raises many questions as the new year begins. People in the Arab world ask themselves whether the rise of Islamic governments instead of the corrupt national regimes has made a difference. الحركات الإسلامية بدلا من بناء القدرات الذاتية دمرت القدرات الذاتية طالبان تجربتها معروفة ما يحدث اليوم في فلسطين موجود ما يحدث اليوم في لبنان موجود ها ما حدث في ما يحدث على أم أعيننا في العراق موجود ما حدث مع المحاكم الإسلامية موجود هم يدمرون قدرات الأمة التي يجب أن يحتموا بها في مواجهة the state of mind of the despairing Arab citizen who says that it seems like the Islamic alternative hasn't produced results and his life has actually taken a turn for the worse in civil wars instead of improving the quality of life. <laughs> خمسة قتل إسرائيلين مقابل 344 قتيل فلسطيني بأيدي فلسطيني it looks like the Islamic argument brought up on this show doesn't really convince those who seek the lifting of the siege and the funneling of money to Hamas. Hamas, it will be interesting to see how the nationalist regimes of Egypt, Lebanon, Iraq and the Palestinian Authority will deal with the rise of Islam and leading the agenda. One more issue which will preoccupy the Muslim and Arab world will be the struggle between Sunnis and Shiites. Many Arab countries such as Saudi Arabia, Egypt and Jordan are worried about the Iranian bomb and here's a demonstration that took place this week in Amman, where parliament members seek to sever ties with Iran. Jordan fears for its border with Iraq, which has become a Shiite protectorate of Iran. This is how one needs to see the Middle East this year. Islam versus nation, in the various regimes, under the threat of civil wars which are already taking place, and the overt struggle between Sunnis and Shiites, between Iran and its Arab neighbors.